Hi everyone, welcome back to KTB Creates. Thank you so much for joining me again today. Uh, I am a little bit behind on my editing and all of that, so I had hopes of getting this video out before Mother's Day, but it's okay because these ideas can be really great gift ideas for any special person in your life, for anniversaries or birthdays or all kinds of other holidays. So I'm gonna take you through three DIY projects that you can create with very little, uh, mostly using Dollar Tree items. So the first item that I'm gonna show you how to do, I actually filmed this months ago, but I lost the footage for it. So it's very simple, so I'm just gonna show you it now because I had purchased this frame. It's just a wooden frame from my Goodwill months ago. And I simply just took some chalk paint and I whitewashed it around or dry brushed it around there to just to give it a little bit of that farmhouse look because that's what I'm going for. Um, and you remember months ago, the Dollar Tree carried frames like these with the corrugated metal and the little clip at the top. My Dollar Trees never got those frames, so I wanted to recreate it. So that was kind of my idea. Um, so this, this um, material here is just aluminum cookie sheets that you can buy, that you can purchase at the Dollar Tree. So I just cut that to size, took the glass off, and put that in there. And then these little clips, you can also purchase, they're magnetic, but you can purchase them at the Dollar Tree. And I just simply glued it on with um, E6000 and a little bit of hot glue. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to now show you how to embellish it a little bit more and make it look really adorable as a picture frame. So stay tuned for that. And I have some other really cool projects. If you haven't already, please go ahead and click that subscribe button because I'd love to have you as part of our family here at KTB Creates. And if you do enjoy this video, please go ahead and click that like button. And with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into our crafts. So we're going to start with dressing this frame up. I just made a simple bow with some Dollar Tree ribbon and I tied that with some um, floral wire. Uh, that's, that's all I really had. Um, and I'm simply just hot gluing it to the top of the frame, like I said, just to dress it up a little bit. And then I bought these little um, embellishments like years ago. I don't even know, I probably at Michael's or somewhere. So I'm just using that to dress up the center of the bow. Um, so any kind of pearl or even a wooden bead would work. And these I thought were the coolest things. They're little wood flowers that I had gotten on clearance at Michael's months ago. They're made by Recollections. If I could still find them online, I will put a link in the description box below but I just thought they were adorable and that they would add like a little bit of extra flair to the bottom of this frame I also thought about whitewashing these little flowers a little bit but I kind of liked the contrast that the natural wood gave against the whitewashed frame so I just kept them as is and I think it looks adorable And here's the finished frame, all dressed up um, with a picture of my little guy. He's not that little anymore, but <laughs> it's just a picture I had on hand. Um, but I think this frame is just adorable. And again, it's a frame that I paid like 50 cents for at Goodwill. And I just used some supplies that I already had just to um, dress it up and change it up a bit. So for the next DIY, this is probably my favorite. You're gonna take one of these plastic silver trays from the Dollar Tree. It's a 16 inch round tray. And I am painting mine with the Waverly chalk paint and plaster. So you're gonna go ahead and give that um, some really good coats of paint. I think I ended up using three coats of chalk paint on here to cover it completely. And this was, uh, my idea was to use this as a Mother's Day gift, which I did. Um, I just couldn't get to the editing to get it up in time. But um, I then decided to go in with a stripe across the center in my chalk paint in the color Elephant. So I just taped off um, the size stripe that I wanted, and I'm just going to go in and paint that 
with two coats of the elephant um, chalk paint. So this is my favorite part of um, any project is peeling off that paint. <laughs> um, it's very satisfying. But as always, you do get, I do, do get a little bit of um, the paint seeping through. So it, it did bleed a little bit, but it's really easy to fix. You're just gonna go in with the um, plaster paint or whatever base paint you're using, and you're just gonna touch it up with a paintbrush. So it's not hard to fix, so don't panic if that happens to you. So I didn't like the solid gray in it, so I am just really lightly dry brushing some of the plaster color onto the gray stripe again, just to give it a distressed look and just to soften up that gray color a little bit because it was a little too harsh for me. Um, and then I am gonna use my Silhouette Cameo to make some stencils. Now, I only had white vinyl. So this, I'm actually painting it with the plaster chalk paint, which is something I never did before, and it actually turned out okay. So you'll see I did add the wording there. Um, it's just my entire family, everybody's names. And then just to dress up the edge of it, I'm taking some Dollar Tree nautical rope, and I am just hot gluing it around the entire edge of the frame. And again, you can customize this however you see fit, um, but I think it just came out perfect. And here is the finished look. And like I said, I think this is my favorite DIY of the bunch. So you'll have to let me know what your favorite is. Then for the final DIY, I am just taking one of these large wood slices that I had, that Arteza had sent to me. And I'll tell you what, you get eight in a box and I just love them. They make great gifts and um, they're just so fun to work with. So all I did here was I made a homemade um, stain with some burnt umber paint and water. And I am just filling in uh, the wood with that just to warm it up a bit. So I did that on the front and the back. And then I just had these little um, knobs, I guess you would say, that I had them left over from another project. So I'm adding the stain to those as well. And these are gonna be the legs for the, the wood slice for the little um, stand that I'm making. So once that's all dry, I simply just hot glued the little knobby legs onto the bottom of the wood slice and i just love the way it looks again i'm utilizing my silhouette cameo you can also just use your dollar tree stickers as well um, i just enjoy using my cameo so i just created a little initial monogram to put on it because this again is going to be a little gift for someone and because i don't like I know I don't like anything like really stark. Um, I just always like to soften things up a little bit. So I am again just whitewashing some white um, chalk paint onto it um, just to break up that black and I don't know, the black against the wood wasn't my favorite. So I just wanted to dress it up a little bit by um, adding the white chalk paint. And I love the way it looks. So. I, I did do this around the edges as well and the bottom. I did make sure that I did this to the legs. That's probably optional. If you don't you know, feel the need to do that, you don't have to do that, but I wanted everything to match and um, blend together. So I did that on the legs and the back of it as well. And then I did wanna remind you too, when you're done with all of these projects, whenever you're working with paint on surfaces, um, like the plastic tray and things like that you always have to seal it so the paint doesn't chip off so I do cover this with um, a nice um, I would say a medium coat of Mod Podge you can use like a spray clear coat if you have something like that as well I just like to work with Mod Podge for these wood slices it is helpful to put the Mod Podge on the edges where the rough bark is um, and that keeps it from falling off so that's why I'm applying it on the, size, on the sides as well. So 
you definitely want to Mod Podge that tray if, you, if you're going to do that project as well. So the paint um, definitely stays on. But I am so excited with the way these projects came out. Like I said, they make great gifts for any kind of holiday, anniversary, birthdays, whatever. Um, I hope you enjoyed them. I always like to know what you guys think and which project is your favorite. So please um, stop down below and add your comments. Let me know what you think. And I also wanted to get into seeing some of your projects on social media. So go ahead over and visit me on Instagram at ktbcreates2019 and show me if you've recreated any of my projects or just what you're working on. I would just love to see you know, what you guys have going on. Um, it's always great to share. Uh, and I love to get your feedback and, and your input. It's always appreciated. With this tray, you can use it for so many things. Um, you could put a candle on it. You could use it for your soap dispenser and things like that. You could dress it up with so many things. You could even use it probably as a trivet, like for a hot dish or something like that. Um, but again, let me know what you think. And I hope you guys are having a great week. And I will see you all very soon.